9-11 changed us. That day changed our sense of security and how we view the world. We learned how vulnerable we are to the destructive acts of a determined few. Just think how much worse it would have been if the terrorists had nuclear weapons. People used to believe nuclear weapons provided America's ultimate security, but now many see them as our ultimate threat. I've worked for over 25 years to end the threat of nuclear weapons, and today we are at a nuclear tipping point. Here's why. Today, nine nations have 23,000 nuclear weapons. Thousands are ready to launch within 15 minutes. They are not as secure as we assume. Think about this. In 2007, the U.S. Air Force lost track of six nuclear weapons for 36 hours in the United States. Yes, right here. They flew across the country on a bomber no one knew had live weapons on it. They spent the night in an empty plane on a Louisiana airstrip protected by only a chain-link fence. Each one was ten times the size of the bomb that destroyed Hiroshima. If this can happen in a country with the most sophisticated system in the world, what happens in countries with the worst? Now, imagine a world in which there are not nine nuclear-armed countries, but 19 or 29. We are teetering on the edge of a future of unchecked proliferation. We are also at risk of a nuclear 9-11. Tens of thousands of pounds of highly enriched uranium, the core ingredient of nuclear weapons, are stored in civilian facilities in over 40 countries, much of it protected with little more security than what we give library books. Al-Qaeda has declared it the duty of its followers to get a nuclear bomb. While the world is awash in nuclear weapons, Al-Qaeda needs just one. These threats represent an unacceptable danger for the American people and the world, but we can change this in 2010. Here's the good news. World leaders, even former nuclear adversaries, have come to agree that nuclear weapons no longer guarantee our security. They threaten it. Consider this. Republican and Democratic heavyweights George Shultz, Henry Kissinger, Sam Nunn, and Bill Perry have issued an historic call for a world free of nuclear weapons. They are proposing practical, achievable solutions to make us more, not less secure. They've been joined by two-thirds of the living former Secretaries of State and Defense and National Security Advisors, Colin Powell, James Baker, Frank Carlucci, Madeleine Albright, and others. These are people we have trusted with America's security across the political spectrum. And they've come to the same conclusion. In today's world, nuclear weapons are a liability, not an asset. Joining these military and security experts are new leaders in countries around the world who recognize the urgency of the threats and are demanding a new approach. This includes President Obama, who has laid out the most detailed, ambitious nuclear policy agenda anyone has ever carried into the White House. Many presidents have wanted to eliminate nuclear weapons. Kennedy said we have to abolish the weapons of war before they abolish us. Reagan said nuclear weapons were good for nothing. What's different now is that President Obama is ready to take action at a time when it is more possible than it has been in our lifetimes, when global support has never been stronger, and when there is broad agreement on the practical steps on how to do it. It's also what the American people want. In a recent poll, 84% of Americans said they would feel safer knowing that no country, including America, has nuclear weapons. In the next few months, the President and Congress will make crucial decisions about America's nuclear future. If you have time to give, now is the time to give it. If you have money, now is the time to donate it. If you have political influence, now is the time to use it. Start by sending this video to 10 friends. Ask your friends to send it to 10 others. Start a conversation. Start something powerful. Join this patriotic consensus. I am convinced that together we can create a safer, more secure world for ourselves, for our children. My name is Joe. I've worked for over 25 years to eliminate the threat of nuclear weapons. Join me.